In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a look at how to import a video clip from a DVD directly into your PowerDirector project. One word of warning, most DVDs from Hollywood and other major sources are copy protected and the software prevents you from doing what we're going to describe. It's uh, illegal to do that as well. But what I've done, I've found a training video that I can use as a great illustration of how to take the appropriate kind of material off of a DVD directly into PowerDirector. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move to the left of the Edit option, which is my default, and click on Capture. And when I do, I have a whole host of ways I can capture information. I'm using the second button from the right which says capture from an external or optical device. And in this case, my optical device is my DVD player because it's optical. Then as it reads what it is, it goes ahead and it, it defines the titles and I click on the plus, the chapters. Now in this particular DVD, each title has only one chapter, so it doesn't benefit me to go deeper into the menu structure. So I'll just click on title number two, and then I'll click on the red record button. It says, here's the folder we're going to put the data in on your hard drive. So I'll simply click on it. And it will take a few moments to extract that particular clip. And then it wants to save it to the hard drive. And my default name is capture. I'll call this test number two and click on OK. So now I've saved the file to my hard drive. To get back into the project, I simply click the Edit option at the very top, and I find it's done two things. It's, it's placed the uh, icon for that particular file in my media room, and it's taken that clip and placed it on track number one. So now I have the clip here. I can add titles to it, I can add particles, I can add special effects, I can edit it, I can make it smaller, and do anything as I would with any other clip that, that came to me any other way. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the play button, or better yet, hit the space bar, and we see that the graphic starts up at the beginning of this training. and. Uh, after that, it's going to go into the first of a two-person interview. So if I go ahead and wait a moment. Welcome back to Helps for Hosts. I'm and there's my interview. So it's a nice way to take appropriate material that you may have or may need if a client gives you some stuff on a DVD. It's a great way to go ahead and bring it into your project in PowerDirector as you begin to build something using this as one of your components.